Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out. Delighted like to be joined by my good friend and talent relations for Pro Bellum, Sam Jones. How you doing, mate? Good, mate. How are you? I'm good. Out there, where are you? Where are you right now? I'm in Italy, mate. Lovely. I, I feel it didn't look quite like the Costa del Derby. No disrespect to your East Midlands home. Hey, there'll um, be no Derby slander on here. <laughs> I'm assuming you managed to watch the AJ fight somewhere out there in Italy on Saturday night. Danny, listen, I, basically, right, the first we got here, um, the, we were checking into our, our suite. The oh, frozen. The fight on, in the bathroom on my phone, like on like a quite low volume. So it was like, uh, it was a bit of a, a, bit of a challenge. But yeah, I watched the fight. <laughs> well, the, the Wi Fi is going a bit slow on this end right now, I think. So I, I'm getting, I'm feeling your pain from Saturday night. Um, what were your reflections on the fight overall? And, and I'm guessing not overly surprised by the verdict. Um, it's not, I wasn't surprised by the verdict. I just, I'm, I'm not surprised at how good Alexander Rusik is. Do you understand what I mean? Um, AJ tried his best. His best wasn't good enough on the night. Um, he did a hell of a lot better than he did in the first fight, um, and he and he and he leaves with his head head held high. I mean, if, listen, if you're if I was his manager or if you're his trainer, be proud of him. He did his best. He did his best, and 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 that's all you can ever ask of of any of any athlete that takes part in anything. As long as you give your best. You've tried hard, you've prepared hard, you've not cut corners, which he clearly hasn't. Mm. Um, he did his best, and he, and he didn't get the win. Um, but he's still, in my opinion, arguably the biggest star in UK boxing and, and the, one of the biggest stars in the world. Anything in your view while watching the fight that he could have done differently to improve his chances of getting the W? Um, Danny, I'm not a boxing coach. I can only ever give my opinion. So do you want people to say, bah about fat idiots. All I'm saying is, is that if you watch it from an outside, outside, outside looking in, you think that he could have just gone through the gears a little bit faster in the earlier rounds and potentially. Put... Oh. It's a great thing. Hindsight's a great thing. He didn't do enough on the night, but he did. But he was he was hanging with arguably the best fighter in the world. It's, it's just some of the shouts that you hear, like Twitter. I, I, listen, mate, I've took my fair share of, of hammering on on a, on a, on, a, on on Twitter. But sometimes, yeah, like I just look and I just think, like yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sometimes I just look at it, look at these comments, and I just think, what are you talking about, you moron? Like, and, and there's a lot of there's a lot of morons out there. I'm sure people think I'm a moron, but I would like to think I always give a unbiased view on everything. Um, people might disagree with that, but ultimately, AJ is an elite level heavyweight. And that's the bottom line. Because Sam Jones said so. <laughs> exactly. Um, Jamie O'Hara, the former footballer, um, had a few things to say about AJ. I saw you set him straight not too long ago. Um, he feels that AJ is now finished at top level. Surely there's still plenty of fights left out there for him. Yeah, it's like what I said. He was chatting waffle. It, I had to explain. I said I, I tweeted back to him in in layman's terms and said, "Listen, it's it's the equivalent of losing a Champions League final. Is losing to Alexander Rusik. It's the best of the best. Yeah, it's the best of the best. If every time, I mean, when Callum Smith lost to Canelo, did he have to retire? When when Canelo lost to Floyd Mayweather, is he going to retire?" Do you understand what I mean? Like, many greats have lost to the same person twice. Yeah? Who's AJ Styles make fights. Some people might still think that if AJ fought Tyson Fury, he'd have a chance of beating Tyson Fury. I personally think Tyson Fury beats Usyk. I could be wrong. But I think AJ has more of a chance against Tyson Fury than he does against someone like Usyk. Mm. Because Styles make fights, Danny. And that's what makes boxing so great. And I think 
AJ, um, AJ just like what I said yesterday, he has to kind of put this behind him now. And that's the first, that's that's that chapter of his career done. This is moving on to the second chapter where the pressure kind of eases because you've lost twice now. People, it, morons are saying, oh, he's finished at top level. Three the times. pressure's off. Yeah, three, 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 three yes, yeah, so he's lost. I meant twice in a row, to be yeah. fair. Um, so then, me personally, if I'm AJ's manager, and this is me, I know I'm going to get loads of stick for this because they're going to say, oh, you shouldn't give him another chance. The bottom line is, big Jerome Miller is still boxing. Yeah, no matter what, whether he shouldn't be. That's a fact. I just want to put that out there. He shouldn't be. He should be banned for life. He's not. He's still. He's now active. He served his ban. Get that big fridge freezer in the ring with Anthony Joshua and go through the unfinished business and let Anthony Joshua have a, almost a, not just a confidence booster, but that fight's got a bit of history about it. The whole country will, will want Anthony Joshua to win because Miller is the bad guy. And... Let's 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 rally behind someone like Anthony Joshua. Let him, let that be his lift off, his 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 lift off again, and let's see him fight Deontay Wilder. Let's see him. Let's hope that let Tyson Fury if he beats Usyk. Let's see him fight Tyson Fury next ne end of next year. But let him have a couple of good fights to get himself fill the O2 Arena. Dillian White rematch, Jerome Miller Wilder, whatever. Some huge fights there for Anthony Joshua. But as I say, if Every time someone lost to a pound for pound king, and uh, and they had to retire, boxing would be fucked. Daniel, thanks for uh, using what isn't my Christian name, but I still appreciate the tone. Um, you talked about if you were his manager, you'd be proud of him and what you'd like to see him do next. What were your what was your reaction as it was happening to his uh, post fight reflections, if you like, where he grabbed the mic and he, he was quite passionate, spoke from the heart. Um. I said yesterday on another outlet that maybe someone should have collared him and kind of saved him from himself. If, if it would have been me in there, but because I don't know AJ like that, they all know AJ. Like someone like KD has known him for years. Do you understand what I mean? He's known him since they were, they were, they were they, their childhood friends. Do you understand what I mean? If I'm comparing it to somebody like, say, Joe Joyce, I, I, I know how he is. Do you know what I mean? His manner is So if Joe would have started spouting all of that stuff I'd have just snatched the microphone off him and if he strangled me afterwards he strangled me afterwards but I would have took the microphone off him yeah I mean it's it a tough is, one what it is. I, I know he's put out a statement since kind of apologising for it and stuff but I but, don't think he needed to apologise no. I think I think I think his, his press post fight press conference was enough when he kind of broke down because anybody I looked at it and I thought and it, it was just an excuse to jump on him and like it was just an excuse to kind of jump on him and like kick him while he was down. Like people like kind of jumping. People could just see the fact that he was trying to give Usyk respect. He just did it all the wrong way because he was probably concussed. He was exhausted and he was heartbroken because he lost the fight. Excuse me. He lost the fight. But people in this country, it's like what we do with footballers. Like fucking Saka. He has a good, he has a good World Cup or a European Championship. I can't even remember what it was. And then because he missed the penalties he gets racially abused i'm not saying it's anything to do with that but i'm just saying that, that the mentality of this of the of, of of the people like just kicking people while they're down just like let's let's lift him up he's given these great nights to to to, to british boxing we want him, we want him to continue giving him that we want him to see him fight tyson fury we, we want to we want to surely we want to see this we, we want to see it it's um it's like even if joshua fought tyson fury next that fight would still pack Wembley Stadium because people would still be interested. It's not going to happen because the right thing to do now is let Usyk and Tyson have the undisputed fight. Or if Ty if Joshua goes and fights Wilder or Dillian White rematch and 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 looks spectacular, which I believe he will, um, we, we all want to see that. We all want to see that fight. We all want to see that all British heavyweight fight at Wembley Stadium or wherever the fuck it will be in the world. We want we want we want to see them, them them type of fights. I just think the mentality of people. Kicking people while they're down is 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 just a bit low in my opinion. But it it it, it is what it is. But first of all, feed the big fridge freezer, as you called him, Jarrell Big Baby Miller to AJ. Say that again, Danny. I said, but first of all, you want to feed Jarrell Big Baby Miller, the fridge freezer, as you called him yeah. to AJ. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's the perfect fight. People will go. No, Jerome Miller, he shouldn't fight again. 
totally agree. So before I get all these comments and all these dickheads, you will still get, get Yeah, yeah, you're still gonna get it. Saying, "Oh, if he cares about boxing, he should be." Like, listen, the amount of people that have failed drug testing that are still active in the sport of boxing is ridiculous. So we may as well give the, the big fridge freezer to, to Anthony Joshua and let him let him smash him up in front of a packed out O2 arena. I would love to see that fight. I would love to see to see AJ demolish Jerome Miller. It, it, I, I would. I think there's. I think there's. They should release the old gloves are off footage, and and let's get behind Anthony Joshua again. Good stuff, Sam. Before I let you go, when are we likely to next see you out and around the circuit and stuff? When when's Pro Bellum getting cracking again? I don't know, Danny. I might just retire and stay here. <laughs> you finished at top level. <laughs> finished at top level. No, mate. Um, very soon, Danny. Like like what I say, there's there's a lot happening in the background. Um, and uh, some exciting news coming coming very very soon. Excellent. Well, we'll look forward to that. But in the meantime, enjoy your Italian sojourn, and I will see you when you get back. You won't recognise me because I won't. My face won't even fit this the dimensions of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. Have a good time, mate. See you soon. See you in a bit. Now.